Hello everyone, welcome to Mrs. Hill's Reading Corner. Um, I got my comfy recliner, I've got my beautiful orchid, um, and a great story to read to you today. So, we are going to be reading The Dog Poop Initiative. If you are in my class, you've heard this story before, um, and it's just a good reminder to all of us that we need to be the ones to take initiative, be leaders, um, and step up and do the right thing, even if nobody else is choosing to do the right thing. So as I read this story, I want you to think about what the character, or I'm sorry, who the character is that does the right thing and kind of how this whole story unfolds with dog poop being kind of the center of the story. So without further ado, let's get started. So this is called The Dog Poop Initiative, a true story by Kirk Weisler. A man walking his dog, a squirrel climbing his tree. Something's about to happen. Let's look and see. The man whistles with an innocent look on his face. The dog sniffs around, finding just the right place. The man looks away, the squirrel covers his eyes, while the dog delivers a smelly surprise. The two walk away, leaving a big pile of poo. The squirrel plugs his nose, not sure what to do. The stinky pile that they leave behind will soon be on everyone's mind. But will anyone in any group take the initiative and clean up this poop? Let's watch and see. Soon the soccer kids arrive to play. It's the first two teams to play that day. Gross! Oh, it's dog poop! They point and they shout. Everyone seems willing to point it out. The game begins and they play for a while. With luck and great effort, they avoid the pile. As the next two teams arrive later that day, the pointers point and warn where not to play. The coach and the ref hmm, discuss what to do to keep the kids out of the poo. Coach says, <clears throat> it won't be easy kids, I know, but we'll need to watch out where we go. From that poopy pile, we must stay away. But let's have fun, come on, let's play. There was more than one close call, sometimes a shoe, sometimes the ball. Parents would yell or coach would shout, kick the ball, score the goal, have fun and watch out. So far, all we've seen are lots of pointers and a pooper. But what about initiative? Where are the leaders and the scoopers? A coach and a player, a father and a son. They may change the score before the day is done. The pointers see the problem and as all pointers do, they point, then blame, and whine a bit, and give some coaching too, for they see themselves as experts now on how to avoid the poo. Without so much as a blink of an eye, this coaching dad passed the pointers by. Then finding something to use as a scoop, he went over and cleaned up the poop. His son watched closely. Life is full of people who are pointers and they're only scoring zeros. The players who take the initiative are the winners and the heroes. The scoopers take initiative and are the ones who lead the way. They make the field a better place for all the rest to play. They don't waste time pointing, complaining, or worrying who's to blame. They simply do what must be done and then get on with the game. The next day at school, it doesn't matter where it came from or who put it there. What matters is the leader we become when we decide to care. When we remember that initiative is just what leaders do, when we remember their example and, then we can do it too. The example of our initiative may help others more clearly see 
the kind of person and even hero that we can choose to be. The end. So I really hope you enjoyed that story. Um, I just love the way that at the end of the story, the dad takes initiative and shows his son what it looks like to be a leader. So my challenge for you today, and every day really, is to be a leader, um, whether that is helping your parents at home and taking the initiative to do your chores or help them out with housework, um, <clears throat> or be a leader and take initiative when you're doing e-learning and maybe helping a younger sibling or being the first to get your work done. So again, my challenge to you is to take initiative, be a leader, and have a wonderful day. See ya.